Hello, I'm going to be showing you how to calculate the weeks of amenorrhea manually if you are given the last normal menstrual period and your own ascertain date. This can come in handy, for example, in OSCE if you don't have an app that can calculate everything automatically. So, today is 30th January 2020 and the lady that we have has her LNMP on 23rd October 2019. I hope by now you know how to calculate the estimated date of delivery. It will be 23 plus 7 which is 30, 10 minus 3 which is July and that will be 2020. But that wasn't what this video is about. So we head on right to the weeks of Amenorrhea. So we are going to move from October and we are going to go to January. So we have October, November, December and January. So we are going to make use of the hypothetical four week month in other words, the 28th day month. And because of that, we need to know how many days are in the month that we have. October has 31 days. November has 30. December has 31. And January has 31. But we're not going to go that far because today is 30th January. So the deficit or the extra days that we're going to have relative to the 28 day month, the hypothetical 28 day month, are going to be for October, um, we're going to have plus three extra days. For November 28 to 30, it's going to be plus two. For December, we're going to have plus three. For January, we're not going to go this far because today is 30th January. And in total, we won't have an extra 3, 3 to 8 days, which is one week, one day. One week, one day. So we're going to begin the easier bit of it. We're moving from 23rd October 2019. And we are going to today, which is 30th January 2019. So from 23rd October to 23rd November, 28 days, that is 4 weeks. From 23rd November to 23rd December, that's another 4 weeks. From 23rd December to 23rd January, that is another four weeks but take note that we've stopped on 23rd of january we're going up to 30th of january so from 23rd january to 30th january that is seven days 30 minus 23 which is one week one week so the total time we have we have this one week, this one day, these 12 weeks, four, 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 and this one week, that makes it 12, 13, 14, and one day. 14 weeks and one day. So that is from 23rd October 2019 to 30th January 2020. And we can really prove that. And from 23rd October 2019 to today, which is 14 weeks, one day, which is what we have. Thank you.